The issue with this in regards to detoxification though, is that bile that is bound to that toxin is being recycled. So these toxins are just going round and round and round, continuously wreaking havoc within your body. So bile is primarily known as a substance created by the liver to help digest fats. But let's talk about the importance of bile and its role in detoxification. So a brief physiology on bile, it is created by the liver from cholesterol, where it is stored in the gallbladder and released into the small intestine, where it will help digest fats. But what many people don't know is it's very important for phase three of the detoxification process. This is where bile will bound to a toxin, which is then taken up by the liver and then excreted in the stool. But bile is very expensive to make biologically. So you have a process known as enterohepatic circulation. And this is where you recycle up to 95% of your bile. This just makes things more efficient. It helps you digest fats and such. The issue with this in regards to detoxification though, is that bile that is bound to that toxin is being recycled. So these toxins are just going round and round and round, continuing wreaking havoc within your body, sending off things like cell danger responses, which causes a chronic immune activation, they gunk up your membrane so you get poor signaling of hormones, just a whole array of health complications. So ultimately to improve that detoxification, what we wanna do is make sure we are making enough bile as well as we have proper bile flow. Because when the liver makes that bile, it has to go through the biliary duct before it can get to the small intestine. So what I find is like the biggest bang for your buck, the cheapest, the easiest way to help produce produce more bile are doing things like teas. So your most common ones for producing bile are things like peppermint, artichoke, and dandelion. I recommend using a French press, that way you're not using plastic like tea diffusers and whatnot. And definitely don't use tea bags because they're loaded with plastics. Another great way to ensure optimal bile production and bile flow is supplementing fossil titlecholine. So now the one I recommend can be quite expensive, but it does last you quite a while. And it has even more benefits than just bile. Super important for cell membrane health, neurotransmitter production, just overall health and wellness. And then we can also look at things like inositol, taurine, beetroot powder. These will all help produce bile and help with the bile flow. And Nutridyne carries a great product known as LipoFlow that contains like all of these. We also want to remember to support methylation and very simplistically put, methylation helps build things. So not only can we get better bile production, but better bile flow as well. How we support methylation is using things like B vitamins and methyl donors, things like L-methionine and SAMe. And then also make sure to have enough stomach acid. So you could look at supplements HCL, but ultimately to produce enough stomach acid, just make sure you're doing like breathing techniques prior to eating and just overall stress management to activate that parasympathetic nervous system, improve that vagal tone, and you'll produce more stomach acid. Having adequate stomach acid not only helps you digest your food better, but it also signals a lot of other digestive processes in the body. You could supplement ox bile, but the complication with that is sometimes it's difficult to get the dosage right and people tend to get heartburn and stuff. So usually I just recommend the previous supplements or teas. If we're solely focusing on just like the detoxification aspect of phase three, like that excretion, we can look at things like calcium deglucrate, or we could even use Tudka. Tudka is a bile salt that doesn't get absorbed, but bounds the toxins, so it won't get recycled and you can excrete it in the stool. But one situation where you can really struggle with bile flow and production is parasites. They really tend to hang out in the biliary ducts, causing congestion. So you can get stool tests to test for parasites. There are questionnaires, they are very common. So if that's something you're experiencing, seek out professional help in regards to a parasitic protocol. That is something that I work with. Don't hesitate to reach out. But you can also have congestion due to like gallstones. So there are gallbladder flush protocols. Once again, I recommend seeking out professional help. This is something that I've done on myself more than once. It can be very strenuous and stressful, but it actually works really, really well. And you'd be amazed at how many gallstones you can count, but how well you feel afterwards. But once again, don't just dive into something like this. Always seek professional help.